Hi, I'm Kelly Mellis, and welcome to another Blonde Bombshell movie review. Tonight we're reviewing The Fantastic, the movie that just came out this week, The Soloist. That's right, The Soloist, starring the great Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you're so cute. Look how cute you are. And the very handsome and fantastic and fabulous Jimmy Fox. Oh, yes, he is so crazy in this movie. He gets crazier as the movie goes on. This movie was directed by the great Joe Wright. The film also stars the wonderful Catherine Keener playing um, Robert Downey Jr.'s ex wife. And the movie is, well, it's, um, it's moving. And I was very taken by Robert Downey Jr.'s um, performance. Um, and Jamie Foxx's performance is very difficult to play this kind of character. And you just, you do hope the best for him. But you kind of just want him to stop acting so crazy. Stop acting so crazy and play your music and have a comeback and get rich and everything's going to be great again. Just why are you acting so crazy? That's what I was thinking for the whole movie. So anyway, but they, they talk about Skid Row, they show Skid Row. My friend that I went to see the movie with, she was like, that can't be what Skid Row is like. And I was like, yeah, it is, it is. She's like, let's go down there. And I was like, no, I don't think that's a really good idea. So we didn't go. But, um, but I mean, it is like that. I think it is. I don't think they're faking it. Yeah. She was upset that, like, every fourth person was smack smoking crack, you know. So, you know, that might go on down there. I mean... People are getting dropped off from the hospital downtown when they can't keep the people in the beds anymore, so they get dropped off downtown, and they're in pain, and they're going to go to Skid Row, and they're going to get crack because to ease their pain. So that's a problem. That's a real problem. So anyway, I hope they work that out. But I just thought Robert Downey Jr. did an amazing job. There were some really nice songs in the movie. There's nice moments, beautiful cinematic moments. But he plays Steve Lopez, who's a writer for the Los Angeles Times. Apparently, it was based on a true story. And um, anyway, you guys should go see it just just to see Robert Downey Jr. back in action. And Jamie Foxx, you know, he, he's a very good actor. Anyway, on a Kelly scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to give the soloist. An eight. An eight. Yeah. I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. But it was really good. So go see it. And um, you'll like it, I think. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Peace out. Thanks for watching.